Okay, our next presenters are Nicholas Chadid and Anusha Raja, SOL, the new face of mental health. The story of mental health is one that has touched all of us in some way. Here at Seoul, we aim to rewrite that story. Our journey started this January at the Yale Healthcare Hackathon, where a team of medical, engineering, and business students came together to do something about mental health. Our team has a strong and diverse skill set. Anusha worked with mental health NGOs in India. Isaac wrote code for two AI startups. Matt has helped design large clinical studies. Max brings healthcare finance experience from Goldman Sachs. Tejas has won an MIT hackathon and was a biotech consultant in New York City. I led a healthcare startup for several years and am currently doing AI research. But perhaps our most relevant experience is one not found on a CV. When patients are brought into our hospital for treatment for depression, we've been in the room. We've seen the effects of depression on our classmates. To us, this isn't theoretical. The problem we're trying to solve is finding, finding individuals most at risk for depression and connecting them to the help they need. Our core technology is an algorithm that, uh, is an algorithm that, uses, that captures uh, information using the camera and microphone from a phone and, uses, and captures audiovisual data from the face and uses linguistic and facial AI analysis to screen for depression. We've already built a prototype that can perform emotional analysis. That's a strong start. But by collecting real patient data during our uh, upcoming pilot, we plan to train our neural nets, which will allow us to generate meaningful clinical insights that can allow us to risk stratify patients and connect them to therapeutic resources. We are currently seeking intellectual property in this area. So in terms of privacy, um, a mental health app must consider privacy. This is why we've built our software on HIPAA compliant servers long before the first patient is enrolled. Uh, furthermore, we use an opt-in strategy uh, with informed consent. We also plan to use a lock and key method where we generate random character strings that only the physician can have access to. So this ensures that only a physician can connect a depression risk to a patient name. Our pilot will be among medical residents at Yale New Haven Hospital. In AI, high quality, difficult to obtain databases are a game changer. Our study aims to find this high quality audiovisual data correlated with depression risk. This data connected to our ground truth will allow us to improve our neural nets to increase the accuracy of risk stratification. Moreover, our pilot population is a highly medically educated cohort. We'll be using their input to iterate our product. Finally, the uh, residency associations have mandated self-screening of resident depression. Upon completing the pilot at Yale, we'll then move on to our market head, beachhead market at medical training programs. Approximately 150 million people can benefit from our technology, and this represents a market of over $1 billion. Our AI technology can be catered to each of these markets through custom user interfaces that meet the needs and preferences of each sector. Moreover, uh, although we have different differentiators among our competitors, our key competitive advantage is we're the only platform that's able to combine linguistic and facial AI analysis for increased accuracy. With an investment of $200,000, we'll be able to complete our pilot at Yale and also have a clinically validated product to sell. We hope to enroll 50 customers and achieve profitability by 2022. In conclusion, we're genuinely worthy of your investment because of our technology, our resources, and our team. Much of psychiatric diagnosis boils down to what people say and what they look like when they say it, essentially patterns. AI is remarkable at detecting these patterns. And with, we have a prototype currently in place with good science. 
we'll have the potential for great data, and we also have the support of renowned clinicians. We are Seoul, and with your investment, we will be the new face of mental health. Thank you. Well done. Any questions? <laughs> Uh, so how do you accommodate day-to-day -day changes within a subject and across the six billion people who are connected? That's a great question. And so um, for that, we plan to train on an initial data set and then do something called transfer learning, where we can transfer that data set, which was trained on a generalized population, onto other individuals. And the idea is we're not looking for um, an absolute change. We're looking for relative change per that individual. So relative change from their baseline. So that takes into account cultural differences and also um, say if somebody woke up on the wrong side of the bed, it's not gonna be you know, one blip or one day of change. We're looking for a, a trend basically. Okay, very good, sorry, that's 